Hey guys, do you know singletons? Some people love them and some would rather die than use them in a project. The question is, is there an alternative that is equally convenient and safe to use? The answer is yes, it's called dependency injection and today I'll show you how it works on the example of the alchemybow.core that is a free framework designed for Unity projects. Let's start by comparing the usage of the two patterns. First, let's take a look at the singleton example. A static property is used to access the instance. The most significant problem with this approach is that you can't really tell how many lanes like this there are in the class, especially if it's a big one. On the other hand, dependency injection uses instance members of the class to store their dependencies. In alchemyvo.core, the injection target attribute is used to indicate that the class contains fields that should be injected. And the fields are decorated with the inject attribute, so it becomes very easy to review the dependencies of the class. The next key difference is how the instances are initiated. In the singleton pattern, the responsibility to initiate the instance is on the singleton class. It's quite bad because it's not easy to substitute such a behavior without internal changes. Dependency injection instances are initiated outside of the class. In alchemybow.core, the most common way is to use installer classes, which are responsible for creating instances and then binding them to the so-called container. The rules of this mechanism are simple. We can bind instances with or without a key. The key is a type that the instance is assignable to. For example, its concrete type, its parent type or an interface it implements. If an instance was added to the container with a key, it can be requested by other added instances. If an instance was added to the container with or without a key, its fields are resolved. The real power is that we can easily substitute injected members. For example, let's assume that we have a player class. On 99% of the game scenes, the player works the same, but there is a tutorial scene where we want the player to act slightly differently. All we need to do is to swap the serialized reference in the player installer, in the editor, and everything will work as it should. You can learn more about the process and much more on the alchemybow.core documentation page. But to make this video complete, let's quickly set up the core for an example Unity project. First, open the documentation page. Navigate to Manual, Installation, and copy the link to the latest version of the framework. Then, in your Unity project, click Window and Package Manager. In the Package Manager, click the plus button, select from Git URL, paste the link and click Add. Then, click Window, Alchemy Bow, Core, Quick Start Core. Feel free to modify the default values and when you're finished, click Create. After that, you will end up with two objects. The one on the active scene is a core controller. Here you can add installers that bind instances accessible in the scope of the scene. The other one is a project context and it's a prefab that you can use to add installers shared between scenes. So that's it for this video. In the future I'm also planning to release a full tutorial for alchemybow.core, so stay tuned and see ya! You can find all the links in the bio. Please like and subscribe.